Hi, welcome to second lesson uh, in the series of audio and speech signal processing. And for, uh, you can also uh, so the web lecture series or the web content for this lesson on www.jcbro.org. You can also download the MATLAB code for the video on the same website. In this, in last video, we talked about how to read pre-recorded sounds or how to read uh, already present sounds in MATLAB and use them for further processing. But many times it is required to record the sound live and then use the data for further processing. Uh, the simplest example could be a speaker recognition like uh, in which uh, we need to specify or uh, specify which speaker is speaking so in that case we need to record the sound of the speaker in real time so in this video we will learn how to record a sound uh, in MATLAB and then how to access the data for further processing so open MATLAB and first of all uh, let's uh, have a look uh, how many devices are connected to our computer so those can be uh, seen by a command uh, audio device info audio de device info so it will create a device object and if we go into it by double clicking on it we'll get it is a two structure so input and output let's go in, into input so it is first is primary sound capture device and microphone so, and device id and device id is 0 and 1 so the microphone is connected to the computer and its device id is 1 so this particular information will be required uh, while we will be recording our sound and now kind of output so we have speakers connected to it and mainly speakers have device id 3 so uh, this is just for the knowledge purpose but uh, this device id will not be uh, we will not be using in any further command so come back to for the recording object for recording device first we need to create a recording object in matlab and that can be done simple by command audio recorder so this audio recorder is the command for creating a recording object it requires uh, three inputs and with id like uh, sampling frequency number of bits which we want to convert each sample into a kind of resolution and then channels and the device id so we will be having a default sampling rate that is for sound card is 44100 and we'll be using 16 bits for uh, decoding each sample and then number of channels we'll be using one as we discussed into it so our recording object will be created that's it now for recording um, the sound there is a command record blocking and then the record object and the time duration for which we want to record the sound suppose if we are i am writing here 5 that means it will record for 5 seconds and let's enter it as soon as we enter the command it starts recording the sound hello 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 so after 5 seconds of recording the sound recording is done we can uh, play it back or we can play the sound by command play and the recording object because by default whatever the sound it has recorded that has been uh, transferred to the data part of this recording object so if we check this recording object it contains several fields so it also has uh, 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 data samples total number of samples which it has recorded for 5 seconds of duration so if we multiply it 5 we will get exactly the same number well, this is the sampling frequency so data has been transferred to uh, this recording object we can play the data 
uh, with the default values uh, of it uh, by play command simply and then the center and and if you have a speaker connected to a computer you will be here to uh, the recorded voice of it now uh, once we have recorded the data so it is of no use if we can't access it so let's extract the data from this object and that can be done by get audio data and the recording object so now whatever the data has been recorded uh, that has been transferred to another variable that is y and y will be created here so if we plot y uh, we will be able to see how our sound looks like so this is the sound waveform which has been recorded by MATLAB and then this particular sound can be used for further processing uh, depending on application either speech processing or speech to text conversion or your speaker recognition as well it can be used for any other purpose so uh, this is how we record the sound using record blocking object there's one more uh, command is there that also used for recording the sound that is simple record but the problem with this sound is uh, unlike audio recorder uh, unlike uh, record blocking uh, we were providing the time instant of 5 so for that much of duration uh, control of MATLAB stops at that particular point but uh, in this in this case in record case if we record again for 4 seconds it will record for 4 seconds but control will not stop here and MATLAB moves to another another command so if we are writing uh, this record object into a script then we need to put another command pause for 4 seconds in order to provide sufficient time for MATLAB uh, to record the thing so generally uh, record blocking object is used so but the disadvantage of record blocking is suppose we have two microphones and we want to record the sound separately from two microphones then uh, that can't be done with record blocking so, because the first record blocking uh, command will uh, will be stopped there uh, or the MATLAB uh, process uh, uh, will stop there until for five seconds so for that case uh, we if we are recording two from two separate microphones at the same time in that case uh, we can use uh, this record uh, this record command because uh, this doesn't uh, hold the flow of the uh, program and keeps on recording for four seconds so this is the difference between record block and record so again depending on application we can use it so let's see it record uh, like uh, as the command has been pressed the control has gone to the next instruction so this is the uh, main disadvantage of this record but again advantage for some other application we can also uh, play the recorded sound it also has recorded and and it can be visualized from record object as number of samples has been changed that is uh, by the multiplication of 4 so it has recorded for 4 seconds so now let's play it so so uh, and we can also again get the data uh, like get for your data from record and we can also plot it so this command now the graph will be a little different from the uh, previous one as the data is has changed so I hope you understand how to use different kind of record function uh, in MATLAB and how to record sound in real time from MATLAB. So that's it for this video and please visit our online web page for more theoretical part of it. Whatever we have discussed that will be written on online page of our website. So that's it, that's it for this video. Thank you.